All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Rusty Tabisco episode 12. Um, in the last episode was crazy. Milo just fighting the Tetsujin. Um, he really got his ass handed it to him in the end, even though he was trying so hard. But what can you do against this giant ass Iron Man? Um, and then the ending, which was so shocking with Bisco coming back, seems like possibly for a short amount of time, depending on looking on to how the story's going with him glowing and shit. I don't know what's going to happen from here. A lot of people were kind of disappointed by the idea of him actually coming back because his death was so well done. And it was bold for a main character to be killed off like that. Um, but I think there'll be reason for it. And I think in this episode, we'll, we'll kind of show that. Um, and yeah, I'm just really looking forward to it. But kind of sad that this is for the finale of the season. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, I like the video if you like the video. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. Hey, yo, this was his body covered in rust. Oh yeah, he fell fell from the sky, didn't he? You really came back from the next world, bro. Came back to life for you. What is his body made of? Like, what the fuck? Oh no, his arm's gl not glowing anymore. What the hell? Now it is. Bro, hang on. Was that an animation mistake? What was that? Oh no, it's only when he, he like charges it up or something. For real, dude. He's some kind of rust rustier god. Mushroom god. Bruh. What? The fucking nuts. And the arrows he shoots shoots out rusty is. No fucking way, dude. You are practically a rust eater. No freaking way, dude. What the fuck has this turned into? Of course. Of course you are, idiot. Let's fucking go. That's naughty, dude. You're a good monster, though. We're trying to give the audience the explanation right now. Bro, I don't care. I don't care. I don't need to hear it. Just do cool shit. This thing is just all kinds of attack on Zion, bro. God damn. The fat Zion. Jesus, dude. Can't fuck it up if it's going to explode. We need to boot its ass into space or something or get it out of the way. Bro, go nuts, Akaboshi. Shoot these mushrooms all over the world. Let's get rid of all the rust. Oh, she's looking at the instruction manual, isn't she? Who would have thought? It has a pilot's brain in there. Oh, so this is a job for Mila then, because he can do the intricate shots right now. Oh, power is about to slay, dude. Ooh, goddamn power, you are fucking cool. <laughs> Bro, your boy was just dead. Kiss him. Kiss him. Kiss him, please. Oh my god, kiss him, please. Ooh. <laughs> You've said it now, boy. Oh! Yes! Let's go, bro. Let's go. You! <laughs> Taking you as my reward. Oh, god, I love her. True. They would be perfect for each other, true. Oh, She's cute as well. You two kiss as well. Maybe it's too soon. They're not as brute force as the other two. Bro, Akaboshi's already died once. And he's basically come back as a ghost now. 
Bro, I'm gonna miss this badass theme, man, in these moments. It's so cool. Oh, power is gonna freaking snap, dude. I can't wait. Come on! Oh, shit, no! What did he do right there with the, uh, with the arrow? Just cause a tremor or what? Oh, of course, it's this fucking dude, man. Oh, he's all rusted. Fuck. Well, then you know where the brain is. One sh quick shot to the head, we're done. Oh, Jesus, dude. <laughs> you should praise me more often. <laughs> Except he came back from the rust. You don't get the chance, boy. Holy shit. Big ass mushroom. Ain't gonna happen, chief. Oh, this is a Mila mushroom. Hell yeah. Oh, what the fuck is that? Blood? Rust? Oh god, it's rust. Oh my god, let's go. Homies, let's fucking get it. Come on, let's fucking go. Oh, that was fucking clean. Oh, they're coming, they're coming. Bro, that was fucking sick. See you later, boy. Damn, that looks awesome. That was such a dope fight. There's so many mushrooms. The world will never have rust again. Now the question is, does Bisco go back to being dead or not? Oh shit, she's cured. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't count your chickens before the arch chief. He might be. Oh my god, are they just laying down in front of the sun? Fuck yeah, dude. Let's go. This oh, this makes me think this is end of series, man. Everything is tied up. This is a short series. You both saved Japan, but you definitely helped Bisco. <laughs> so he's alive. He's not just going to disappear. This is great. I'm happy. Even if the explanation's a bit loose, I don't care. I really don't care. I love them. I'm so glad they're happy. The cure is there. Tattoo Gene is gone. Let's go. And then, so all the mushrooms are already like, they've already got blood included, so they don't have to take more blood from, you know, anyone else. Wait, were those the kids, uh, were those the kids' parents? New governor? Let's go, Pawu. Why is... Why is Bisco still wanted? Why is there posters for them when the governor denounced all... laws against mushroom keepers? I really don't get why there's wanted posters of them. The laws have been denounced, right? That's right. Does he know it's them? I feel like he does. Are they still watering that big mushroom? <laughs> Bearded pig. <laughs> Let's go. Can someone explain to me why they're still criminals? I don't get it. I don't recall ever asking for eternal life and use. So he really... He's trying to get rid of it then? <laughs> That's cool though. You can help people with that. Let's go. I hope Visco and Pawu actually ended up together, even if they're... You know, he's traveling right now. Well, we got the end of here. What is this?
Oh, that's cute. All right, so that was Rusty Tabisco episode 12, the finale. Uh, to me, that seems like a series finale. I think everything was neatly wrapped up. Um, and it was, yeah, it was nice. It was a very short series, um, but I really enjoyed it. It was, su it was super cool. And um, honestly, it was better than I was thought I thought it was going to be. I'm glad I, I stuck with it. And yeah, I, I love our little uh, Rust uh, Mushroom Keeper duo. Uh, everything worked out with Pawu and uh, I, literally everybody else, really. Um, Kodakawa was dead. That's fine. Uh, his death was dope. Um, and yeah, they now just go around spread Rusty around the world. So that was really cool. But yeah, uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching the series along with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I want to, obviously, if you... I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.